María Concepción Pomar Roselló presents Let's learn about frogs. Welcome to our first session. My name is Maria Concepción Pomar Roselló, and today we are going to learn many interesting facts about frogs. Are you excited, my students? Cool! I love frogs! I've always wanted to learn more about amphibians. Exactly, Maria! Frogs and toads are amphibians, together with salamanders and newts. But why are they called amphibians? Do you remember the answer? Yes, I do remember, Mrs. Pomar. Amphibians are animals that can live on land and in water. Oh, I didn't remember the answer. I should have studied yesterday night. Exactly, Dan. Amphibians can live on land and in water. Good answer. Hey, <laughs> yesterday I studied a lot. Mammals need to breathe air through their lungs to live. And fish get oxygen through their gills. Although there are mammals who live in water too, like dolphins or whales. Amphibians have three ways to get oxygen, through their lungs, their skin and their mouth. This is how they can live in water and, at the same time, live on land. They need both to survive, that's why you have to keep them in a terrarium. This picture shows the respiratory system of frogs and amphibians in general. They breathe air through the nostrils and the lungs when out of the water. And they breathe the oxygen in water through their skin and the lining of their mouths. Frogs produce mucus through their skin to keep it moist and clean. Mucus? I'm never ever kissing a frog! Ugh! And where do frogs live, Mrs. Pomar? I'm still in shock. I'm so happy I'm not a princess. Frogs live in ponds, rivers, lakes, swamps. They live in places near air and fresh, sweet water. The vast majority of frogs can live in salt water. If exposed to salt, their skin dries up and they die. The young frogs, or tadpoles, can thrive either in saline environments, neither the eggs. And now let's talk about the life cycle of frogs. Whoa! Mrs. Pomar is getting too enthusiastic! Scary! From eggs to adulthood, frogs go through several metamorphoses. This means that they completely change their body as they grow up. It's a fascinating process! First of all, mama frog lays her eggs. These eggs will grow into tadpoles. Then tadpoles grow legs, lose their tail, and ta-da, you have an adult frog. Tadpoles can only live in water. Only adult frogs have lungs and breathe air. Remember, this transformation process is called metamorphosis. Oh, this is getting complicated. When I grow up, I will metamorphose into a beautiful butterfly! And now, let's talk about what tadpoles and frogs eat. Tadpoles live all the time in fresh water and they eat basically algae. But sometimes they can also feed on rotten fish or insects in the water. Frogs are omnivores, they eat algae, plants and insects that also live near fresh water. On the other hand, remember what we said, tadpoles are mostly herbivores. I need to take notes of all this info, it's complicated! And this is the end of our lecture on the fantastic world of tadpoles and frogs. Oh no, she's getting enthusiastic again! And now let's have a review session! How much have you learned today? Let's start with the first question. Time to flex or mind muscles. 
I want to get an A+. Plus. First question. Amphibians are lizards, frogs and turtles. Is it correct? Hmm, I think I know the answer. The correct answer is no. Only frogs, toads, newts and salamanders can be considered amphibians. Did you get it right? Let's see the second question. What do you call the frogs' transformation process as they grow up? I know the answer to this one. Well, if you answered metamorphosis, you are correct. You are doing exceptionally well. Let's ask an easy one now. Frogs are omnivores. This means they only eat plants. Is this correct? Oh, this question is very difficult. The answer is incorrect. Frogs are omnivores, which means that they eat plants and small animals too. Ok, my students, let's ask a final one for today. Frogs are capable of breathing through their skin. Is this correct? I know this one. I know this one. The answer is yes, they do breathe through their skin. You did exceptionally well. I'm very proud of you. Thank you very much, teacher. We loved your lessons very much. Please do keep on studying about amphibians, toads and frogs. Thank you so much for watching.